Hi, today we have Taran with us and he is going to help us set up the 3D printer and we are going to see how fast we can set this up. So he has the timer ready. Are you ready Taran? Yep. So ready when you say ready. And start. Hello everyone, this is JCRP and you are watching Kalakar.in. What I have in front of me is this Anycubic i3 Mega 3D printer. Now there are three main points that are really interesting about this 3D printer. The first is the bed plate. They have named it as Ultra Base. The second one is the filament runout sensor. So when you are printing some prints and then your filament runs out, I am sure that many of you have been there. But this helps you solve that issue. The third one is resume on power off. If the power goes off while you are printing something, then you don't have to be worried because with this printer, you can start from where you left off. Now let's see what are the contents inside the box. I love the way these things are being packaged right now. Even the last printer that I owned, the CR10, came up really well packaged. And this one also seems to be well put up. So here's the manual and the power cord. Let's take one after the other. And this looks like uh, tools, the hot end, scraper, filament holder. Now let's take the unit out. Uh, it's quite heavy because it has everything inside it. Here's a nice addition. The CR10 actually came with just half a kg of uh, filament. This one almost has one kg, which is really good. Okay. Hi, today we have Taran with us and he's going to help us set up the 3D printer. And we're going to see how fast we can set this up. So that's about 4 minutes and 49 seconds and 52 milliseconds. That's really fast. It's been two days since I unboxed this machine and I've done a lot of prints and I've brought few prints over here so that I can show you a close up. So let's take a look. This was the first print that I printed. It's a Game of Thrones cup and you can see the teeth details in this. Uh, apart from a little bit of blobs here and there, I am blown away. The first impression was the best. Now the second model that I printed was this one. It's a coaster model and uh, the designer of this model had really amazing idea to actually flip the model and give it as an STL file so when I printed it like this it, it printed this way so that when I flipped it which is the right way to actually read this words it was super smooth it was still printed in PLA and you can see I can bend it it's about 3 mm thick but the quality of it is superb the third print that I did was this Christmas ornament and usually in this kind of print with these gaps here usually stringing happens because it's a very near and close gap when the head moves from one point to the other there is a huge chance that stringing would happen but this model I did not clean it in fact any model that you see here has not been cleaned it is straight out of the printer of course this is the top side which is kind of rough but the base which was on the ultra base was really amazing the ultra base again I would like to tell you it really attaches the part to itself when it is hot and it releases it when it is cold you don't even need to use the scraping tool you just have to hold it and pull it out and it will just come out the next print that i want to show you is this one oh my god same settings by the way this is the model from this channel called as make anything if you haven't been following the channel please go ahead and subscribe to the channel this is his acorn model it's a screwable type of a container which you can put whatever things you want in. Um, this was also actually printed in black color but then I spray painted it in silver so that it amplifies any defects it has. Uh, by the way this was printed with 100% infill whereas this was just printed with 20% infill and you know with the 20% infill the honeycomb is pretty large. The top has been sealed really well. 
thanks to this printer i believe i know i've been saying a lot of good things but hey i do have a bad print also from it but all in all when compared to all these good prints and just one an okay print not a bad print but an okay print i would say that this printer has really served well we have now come to the part where i have to tell you if this printer is worth or not in my opinion there are five main points that a printer has to check to be qualified or to be said as that it is an amazing printer first is the build quality second is how easy it is to put together the third is the quality of the prints the fourth is the heated bed quality and the fifth is how cost effective it is let's break it down this printer is made of metal so that checks the build quality it just took 4.49 seconds to actually put this together so that checked how it is easy to put the quality of the prints you saw them it's amazing the print bed is something new revolutionary the ultra base so that's amazing as well and for a little about 300 dollars you can own this printer so the fifth point the cost effectiveness is also checked so put it in short if you're going to buy a new printer then you should definitely go for this but if you have another printer then even then get this one you will not be disappointed by it if you want to buy this printer i do have the coupon codes in the description please go check them out and be benefited by it it will also help this channel a big thanks to gearbest for bringing such awesome printers to the market really love the products if you think that i could have added any more to this review please put them in the comments and do check out this channel next week for a project video it's me jcrp and you've been watching kalakar.in until next time Happy learning